phenomenal young lady who is in the studio joining us. And yep, her name is Valerie Guguletu Chingonzo, and uh, she is a Zimbabwean born model, former beauty queen, entrepreneur, founder of uh, Val Butte uh, Enterprises, right? And so, so excited to be hosting you this morning. Welcome, you made it. Thank you. I'm so happy, Visa. How are you? I am so excited. <laughs> I'm so I'm so happy. And so, Enzo, I shall live the back there. That song just, you know, it's just like every time I'm hearing it, it's new and it's fresh. And I it's know. Just, it's just kicking. Energy. It, it gives you that energy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've got quite a loaded, um, let's just say you've got a loaded portfolio. Mm-hmm. So we want to know who Valerie is, or shall we call you Google? Yes, uh-huh. Google. What <laughs> name is called at home? <laughs> exactly, Google. Google. Yes, <laughs> Valerie is the street name. It's her street name. <laughs> name. Okay, but yeah. uh, we we love 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 your company, and we also I mm-hmm. uh, just want to acknowledge her mom is in the studio, and so we also want to appreciate mom who made this beautiful lady. So we're excited <laughs> about having her in the studio. So who is Valerie, or who is Google? Uh, Okay, Valerie is a young lady. (laughs) I love to call myself young, but Mm. okay, let's not look into that. You are young. She is young. She's younger than me. I like to call myself young, so that means she's younger than me. Okay, so I'm young. Okay, so I'm a young lady. Uh, I'm a young lady, um, former beauty queen. So I I started modeling at the age of five, um, pageantry. And then I I stopped at the age of 25. So Mm. I I did Miss Vilaoyo. I was first princess Miss Vilaoyo because I grew up in Vilaoyo back in the day. I I competed for Miss Zimbabwe. I got into top 10, second year. I wanted to do it again, but uh, at the time, I think I was going to school. Mm-hmm. Yes, I was starting school. Um, my biggest pageants that I've won is Miss Women's University in Africa, because that's where wow, I learned. Yeah. And then I competed for Miss University Zimbabwe, and yeah. I won that one. And then I won the World Miss you University. We got pageant. a star in the room, okay? <laughs> so she went and she yeah. knocked them out, knocked which them is out. a good thing. <laughs> she knocked them out, and I can understand yes. why. And just as a reminder, we are live on Facebook, so you can be able to catch us on uh, Facebook at Cappy Talk FM. So please make sure that you go there and you will see her in real life, in real time. Okay, so you knock all these guys out. Mm-hmm. I'm just curious, how was that journey? The, oh, okay. The journey wasn't all roses and chocolate. It wasn't. There was, yeah, there was a lot true. of rejection, mm-hmm. a lot of tears. You know, I, like I said, I started modeling at the age of five because of my mom. She mm-hmm. put me into pageantry from crash, pretty much. Mm-hmm. So I literally won like Miss Henry Law, my primary school, Miss Evelyn, just rising up. But it wasn't easy. You learn a lot. Modeling mm-hmm. is very competitive. But you mm-hmm. learn that in life, you compete with other people. You are not the best. Mm-hmm. And at times, you come out as the best. But that doesn't mean you're better than everyone else. It just means that you nailed it, the mm-hmm. exam or, or the test. So it wasn't easy. But the pageant that I won was for beauty with brains. Mm-hmm. That's what it focused on. So I'm very grateful that I won that pageant because they paid for my school fee at Women's University and I won a car. I like that. Yeah. Hey, what kind of car? Uh, no, no, we don't want to talk about... <laughs> I love cars. No, okay. let's not if focus so on the wheels. car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, what's more important was the, <laughs> was the school fees. Was the, my, my fees was paid for, which was oh, no, very... No, cool. Yeah, it meant a lot to me. Oh, fantastic. Mm-hmm. And, and so, look, this is an epic journey for you and mm-hmm. I, I believe that what you are today is the sum total of the things that you've experienced um, uh, throughout that process. Mm-hmm. And so we're talking about health and wellness and beauty more so, central to all of this. And so in that whole entire journey, I'm sure there were times where you questioned a lot of things mm. about health and wellness and what was your perspective if we break it down to all three categories which mm-hmm. is the health aspect of it how did you approach that because in the modeling industry it is quite a, a, a tough one mm. most girls do not understand the value of good health mm-hmm. yeah so mm-hmm. what was your approach well, my approach where well, I didn't really struggle when it comes to like weight because I'm just naturally skinny. So even now as I'm older and I don't even do pageantry anymore, I'm just still the, the same. So that was just something. But then what I did struggle with was acne. So I really mm-hmm. had bad skin. And mm-hmm. that was not easy because in the modeling industry, it's very cutthroat. Mm-hmm. Everything has to be perfect. Everything has to be right. So I, I got into this bubble where I would have to put on a lot of makeup. I'd have to put on weaves to hide my face because mm-hmm. I'm standing for beauty. But at the same time, I'm looking the opposite of yeah. what I'm standing for. So I really struggled with that journey. And, um, but I learned a lot, and which is what I also added to the book, that every woman has a certain area that they struggle with. It can mm-hmm. be a weight it can be the way you look, it can be your confidence, your self-esteem, whatever it is that affects your 
your confidence but i had to continuously rise above it mm. rise above the acne how i'm feeling the rejection but it was it was a journey now the wellness yeah. element is a big deal mm-hmm. and the emotional journey of yes. it can be quite taxing because mm-hmm. we, we we let's just say zimbabwe is not fully aware or fully fledged with regards to pageantry mm. so a lot of things we are not prepared for as yeah. they're coming in and so when it comes to your own mental state mm. and dealing with rejection and one you're young you're beautiful there's mm. all this pressure coming mm. so what did you do to be able to remain centered or did you ever fall off the rails I did. I know I did. Uh, you no did. Times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what helped me? I think I could have fallen off the... I, I think I fell off the rails in terms of... There's a time when I got depressed. Mm. For me, that I was falling off the rails. And I just kind of gave up. Like, honestly, that was especially my first degree. Mm-hmm. Because so many things were happening. It wasn't just the modeling anymore. But it was now unemployment. Mm-hmm. It was now... I thought life was simple. I thought life was... You're a beauty queen. You go to school. You get married. You, you, I just thought it was a narrow, like you do think. And then I realized, oh, my life is moving in circles. You know, that's when I wrote this book during that period of unemployment, of not understanding that I'm 25. I really thought I did everything right, but it seems like life is just not being fair. And I sat down, started writing this book and this is where I found myself. But yeah, in, t- in terms of wellness, it's not easy, but I would say I had a very strong um, support system in terms of family. So that's why my mom is even here today because mm-hmm. she was there during the whole process. So even if I wanted to go the you know, other side. Moms she are was, pillars of strength. Yeah. I, 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 mm-hmm. When I see your mom, I'm also seeing my mom as well. So Aww. in many ways, I can relate to a lot of the things that they went through, the mm-hmm. frustrations and then the anxiety. Yeah. I think they were more, <laughs> more nervous than us. Than us. <laughs> I was just like, every time, you know, it would be like you're late you're, we're running late we're you're running going late. to be late but, but mom I, I'm the one. I under- no, and she still late. does that she did it for the interview today i'm like wow <laughs> i'm a grown woman and yeah no no but i like her for that because at least she understands and mm. I'm, I'm sure she's also part of this epic journey and she's yeah, also she getting is. the best out of it mm. as well and seeing her daughter doing these amazing things yes so uh, let, let's come back to the book mm-hmm. you're talking uh, kingdom principles here Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. so tell us about this book Mm -hmm. and uh, what inspired you to write it Mm -hmm. I know you wrote it during a certain period in your life but what then gave you that motivation Mm -hmm. to say today I'm putting pen to paper Mm -hmm. to make this book happen Uh, so I always wanted to be an author from like the age of nine so it's not something that just I didn't just wake up Mm -hmm. Um, but I just didn't know what I was gonna write about not yet and then this journey happened the modeling journey I'm done with modeling the unemployment the depression happened are you really done uh, okay, no, I can still be a model. I'm done with pageantry. Her face is not permitted <laughs> to stop. I, I'm so sorry pa- to say this. Yeah, she's she's okay. looking immaculate, so okay, she's not allowed to. We're gonna tell her no. <laughs> okay, pageantry. Okay, <laughs> okay. Mo- modeling is fine. Okay. Yeah, because I still d- I, I did something for Edgar's like photo shoot. So yeah, yeah, so modeling in itself is still okay. But yeah, pageantry. And then um, during that period, I really I was very prayerful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so hence the kingdom principles because I okay actually it's actually a long journey but just to cut it short, mm-hmm. I um I cut my hair for the first time when I was twenty five and now I have short hair natural hair I used to have relaxed hair I used to have weaves those things became an idol mm-hmm. makeup was an idol now mm-hmm. I do makeup just for events because I'm coming on radio but just a normal day I have a natural face yeah. I have no hair mm-hmm. um, that was my own journey so it was my kingdom beauty regime so I went back to the look that I had when I was five years old mm. I removed everything and it was just me so that's where the kingdom part comes from it's just beauty from above coming down nothing added to it but it's because I was now comfortable on the inside that's mm. why I can do this now mm. yes so let's go back to this beauty industry because I feel like mm-hmm. it uh, somewhat is tied in we have a perception of beauty and a lot of it is impo- is imposed Okay, we've got the Eurocentric version of what beauty is. And Mm -hmm. most of us got into this industry based on that. And so you seem to have come full circle and said to yourself, no, come on, this is not it. I'm free. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And having this look at 25. (laughs) Okay. It's not simple. It's just, I don't know. If I don't have the weave, I don't have the lashes, they're not going to hire me. But that's not true, actually. So what do you think are some of the misconceptions about beauty that were then introduced into your life through you know perceptions out there or what the industry might have taught you or Mm. what media might have taught you Mm -hmm. which you then decided you know this is absolutely Mm. not not me it's not me Mm -hmm. yeah it was it was that the hair 
the flowing hair. Mm-hmm. So when you go for the world pageant, when I went for, I went to China for World Miss Universities, obviously it's like the best weave. It's, mm-hmm. you know, it's the makeup, it's the hair, it's the trying to look like a white person. Mm-hmm. Let's just be. It's just like <laughs> legit, yeah. you know. That's even with makeup. We now have contouring, so your nose is like pointy. Just everything is trying to look more like a white person. So um, those are some of the misconceptions. And for a very long time, it really ruled the way I viewed things, the way mm-hmm. I spoke, the way I did things. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know. Overnight, I think I was twenty-seven. I was just like, nah, this, this is not stops here. serving me. This is not helping me. Yeah. Um, I'm actually more happier and more beautiful. I feel when I'm myself my true self wow yeah. and this is the f- I, I love this year because it's an awakening moment mm. and the most of go- the girls don't get it a I lot of the know. times and so we're celebrating beauty here and uh, we've got a lovely Valerie Gugu Echimonzo <laughs> who's in the studio joining us this morning and she's telling us about the book that she's written and I think it's such an inspiration especially for young girls who are actually trying to find themselves mm. or even women who are probably stu- are stuck in a rut and they mm. try to figure out who am I? Who am I? And what is, what is life about? Mm-hmm. And if I don't look a particular way, am I still mm-hmm. valuable? Mm-hmm. Let's talk value. Mm-hmm. And what does value mean to you mm-hmm. as a woman? Wow, you're actually quite... <laughs> I, I, I love stuff because I know wow. you've got it in you. No, I know. Well <laughs> done. Well done. Because, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're quite deep. <laughs> ah, the value is just really... Whew, understanding who you are, coming to that realization, which is what the book talks about, the self-esteem, the self-love, self-belief, mm. and not being determined. It, it doesn't, uh, the world does not tell you who you are or social media or what's on Instagram. You are your own brand, okay? So like if the way I look at my own brand, there's no way I'm going to fantasize and try to be someone else because that's not going to happen. Mm. So the, the sooner you get into your own brand, the faster you'll see that life will start to open up for you. And just to add, like you are a great inspiration. I remember watching you on TV. <laughs> I was young. I'm putting the files. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I remember I was in Bulawaya sitting in my lounge. I was young with my mom. And then we all watched. It was Miss Malaika. It was beautiful. Mm. And you won that pageant. And you inspired a lot of girls. Thank you. Like till today. Your confidence. Your beauty. And you were natural. <laughs> yeah, it's my turn to put you <laughs> on. Just really on the spot. <laughs> and you were innocent and natural. You were not like trying to be snobbish or trying to be who you're not. Until today, that's why you'll forever be our Miss Malaika. You inspired a whole generation. Thank you. Which is, yeah. So we need people she like you. She wants me to cry on, uh, yeah. about she live on Facebook. And it's, <laughs> it, has to, it has to get deep. That's the whole no, point. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. So I, I, like I was saying, you were talking about value and what the th- things are more or less make you as an individual. Mm-hmm. And so you're in a very interesting industry as well. Yeah. Image. Image, yeah. yeah, and um, I think I, we, we share the same space, but mm-hmm. I want to understand it from your own perspective. Mm-hmm. Now you're in a world whereby things are driven by perception mm-hmm. and there's no running away from it. How do you merge the two worlds of, you know, you being authentic mm-hmm. to yourself, mm. but at the same time, there are rules. There's a rule book you literally have yes. to follow yes. and integrate that so that somebody finds their space and they're not feeling uncomfortable mm-hmm. or they're struggling with the extremes of what that should be. Mm, that's actually that's a daily um, challenge or should I say learning curve so mm. every day I'm trying to learn to like merge the two so it's my own character it's my realization my kingdom beauty journey but at the same time you know we have the image aspect where you know you still look good you still look a certain way and when you go to certain places you mm. want to come off uh, a certain way but anyway what I always say like even in when I train I usually train individuals models mothers I always say um, image is basically about we're not trying to change you that's what i always say so mm-hmm. my my tagline is be the best version of yourself so mm-hmm. when you come through to my place i'm not trying to make you be a me mm-hmm. yeah so i'm not trying to make you so we want you to be who you are but we want you to be the best version of yourself mm-hmm. that's how we merge image and authenticity wow mm-hmm. now she, she's really talking <laughs> So it's really it's time you, to go. It's you. It's because <laughs> I have to match up to your level. Let, let, let's 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 go there. Mm-hmm. Um, there is something that centers you mm-hmm. as an individual, and we're talking kingdom principles that you've also honed into this year. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about your journey of faith, mm-hmm. and what has that meant to you as an individual? Because I, a lot of people might struggle with that, mm-hmm. because we live in a world which is governed by worldly systems. Mm-hmm. But then there's that of the kingdom principles that you seemingly are writing a lot about, about. in the Bible. Mm-hmm. What is in that that centers you? Uh, yeah, that's, that's a very another good question. Um, what is in that? 
it's it's the peace that you have so your mind will be all over the place as a young lady as a woman in general so it's just like the way i look or i want this i want to look better i want money it's, it's a lot <laughs> so it's the peace that i find in the kingdom principles the peace that i find in the kingdom spiritual journey and um also the understand well i just feel like you become you rise above the flesh <laughs> no mm -hmm. i'm becoming too mm -hmm. deep no 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 go there you yeah because when we focus on the flesh we become too it's not about you. It's not about your body or your pretty face. I mean, tomorrow all, all of this will be over. And then what? Yeah. So it's trying to look for the, the deeper, what's deeper within you, you know. And I would want more models to, to have that. I know a lot of people have negative stereotypes when it comes to models. You know, just the whole blonde thing, which is not there anymore because these mm -hmm. days Miss World, people are very educated and mm -hmm. intelligent. But there was the whole blonde thing or, you know, models just put into a certain box. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's, that's. I don't know why people love boxing people. It doesn't mean you can't be beautiful and control. educated. <laughs> I think it's about control. People love to control. And so when someone puts you in a box, it's because they're trying to mask their own insecurities. Ah. So they don't want you to get better because they've okay. not honed in that as being one of the things. So that's my ah. own take, which I'm no, sharing with you. This way. I'm take. not in a box. I will kick that box open. <laughs> Trust me. It's no, you, yeah, you being are boxed not. is not uh, is is not fun, mm -hmm. and it's not great mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm going to take you back to um, your experience at the international pageant, for instance. Mm -hmm. And you meet different characters. You've got your own Zim perspective, mm -hmm. and the way that you've been raised. When you got there, mm -hmm. what did you learn from your fellow uh, um, mates from yes. the other countries? Uh, it was very interesting because we were 65, so that That's was a lot. A lot. <laughs> I know it was very interesting, but we were we we're actually very loving. We all loved each other for some reason. Obviously, did we really like, love yeah, each other? Okay, maybe, tell the truth. Maybe deep down, mm. but no, it was. I don't know. Maybe that pageant was just different. But How long was, were you there for? Uh, three weeks, almost a month. Yeah, you should have given you another week, and then. Oh, all yeah. the hats oh, come yeah. off but no, i'm yeah. joking i'm just playing around with you <laughs> no it was quite peaceful my best friend was miss botswana obviously mm -hmm. i mean the culture likewise i also had yeah. miss bots as really well. yeah. Yeah. Interesting. that all is yeah kind of yeah miss bots yeah they're all is pretty cool and then um but it was very okay to be honest they are very beautiful those mm -hmm. women yeah like Ndaka Vuma, you mm -hmm. know what i mean and it's good to really accept because when i when i met miss pakistan was it miss um peru she was the winner mm -hmm. wow those mm -hmm. girls were good i'll just look at their hair their skin i'm like yeah even i would accept which is a good thing you know you need to see other things exposure mm -hmm. that's why you need to see the beauty in other countries you need to see how other people are and um it just helps you but what really stood out is um for some reason Miss Botswana and myself and probably we were the most we were extroverts mm -hmm. I don't know why in camp we were like bullies I don't know why I was so confident maybe it's because we can speak in English mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't even know mm -hmm. but we were all over the place we would be asked to do things we were just and I, I don't know I think it's uh, you know <laughs> just, <laughs> but it's also the Zimbabwean culture you know we were really trained to be with but that education instilled in us mm -hmm. and that and that's when I realized that we're pretty where we are a pretty confident bunch Zimbabweans mm -hmm. never look down upon yourself or quite confident even when we go out there we know who we are Mm. We don't drown. No. no, we're not. And we won't allow you to drown. No. We and, and, you know, so a lot of girls want to probably walk in your footsteps because you've yeah. done quite a bit at universities as well. And we also want to speak to young girls who are really, you know, yeah. going through those challenges. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a quick message that has just uh, come through. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. um, someone sending their shout outs as well. So oh. um, the thing is, what message do you have? For the young girl, I'm talking to an eight-year-old right now because we're starting there. Uh, kids are starting to look at themselves and, you know, they want to live up to an expectation mm. of what the world is presenting to them. And also the mother who's listening, who's struggling to contain her 13, 14-year-old mm. who's also struggling with, you know, images, mm. or issues of image, image. and, uh, you know, what people should be seeing mm -hmm. in her what message do you have for them so that they now can run with that mm -hmm. confidently okay so the message is it's not easy it's a journey but they can get there if they want to so in the book i do cover all these issues that are affecting us these days especially image i talk about body image you know mm -hmm. that's huge these days mm -hmm. <laughs> you know the body you want the body type body shape um i talk about bleaching i talk about 
all these societal issues that mm-hmm. are there, whether we like it or not, and they affect us daily. Um, so, I mean, it's just, you know, to a mother and also to a, a young person, it's just really understanding themselves, which is why I say mm-hmm. branding. If mm-hmm. you brand yourself, you are who you are. And people actually start to follow you as you are. You don't have to just go with the wind or go with the world. So I think it's just focusing on understanding who you are. And to be honest, to be honest, achievements. I keep saying this. Mm-hmm. If you, to do, do something for yourself. If you have achievements, you become more confident. Mm-hmm. You don't just go with the wind. I'm just going to go Botox or surgery. I'm going to... No, you've got this thing. You have to, no, I've got other things going for me. You know, I have my master's degree i have look there's no need like mm-hmm. my skin may not be the best but hey in this area i'm like <laughs> i'm killing it so i have yeah. other things i have other things have other which things. are which you're pursuing and mm. f- uh, superficial beauty is not something that you should be chasing mm. at the end of the day be your true authentic self That's true. and so your last and parting words for our lovely listeners who are tuned in right now by saying <laughs> Uh, I would say um, just have a strong sense of faith it will all work out and also have social social structures in your life Mm -hmm. safe spaces so that you can speak out when it comes to mental health issues of depression negativity Um, yeah you need those pillars of strength in your life that's how I got to be where I'm I'm not working alone if I was alone to be it would have been very difficult yeah yeah and just I mean just hold on to the faith and Get more tips from my book and from me <laughs> on social media. And sure. So if people want to get a hold of you on social media, mm-hmm. where do they find you? Um, on Instagram, I'm at Queen Val. And then on Facebook, uh, Twitter, it's Valerie Kukuletu Chingonzo. And at Queen Val as well. Awesome yes. stuff. You have been quite an inspiration to myself as well because it's just lovely to see uh, someone who's really out there doing something, especially at your age as well. Oh, thank keep you. on rising, keep on doing well, and keep on being a good inspiration to our young girls and our young guys also are coming up. Thank right? you. And but I'm, I'm happier to be with you. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Because She's I watched you on TV you and you inspired me. <laughs> and so like I'm like a whole generation. That she inspired that's sitting here with you today. That's how you need to look at it. She's making me happy. (laughs) I'm happy here. I'm really happy, but I'm really grateful. And I'm hoping that you have a fantastic day. And also many thanks to mom who's in the studio as well. Please also uh, many blessings to you and your family for all the work that you've been doing. Uh, May God continue to enlarge your territory. Amen. (laughs) (laughs) And so we leave you with the music of Jabu Kanyele Mkaya Law.